all right all right folks welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog this is gonna be a short update video on uh the overheating issue i had at the end of the last video so if you're if you watch the last video uh the fans weren't working the car was overheating uh it was just terrible so what i wound up doing was getting 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 the car back to the parking spot where it's at now this is obviously the next day but got the car back to the parking spot put the fans on it cooled the car down as much as possible luckily i got all my tools with me so that'll come in in a second um but got the car cooled down it was in the 160s 170s uh looked for the closest car car parts place uh which was AutoZone. actually there's a auto zone o'reilly's and advance literally right next to each other on this road so it went up about a mile and a half two miles car went all the way up to 240 within within minutes uh so kind of putted my way down there got to the part shop because it, it wasn't it was only about two miles from here so don't go crazy on me because my car was at 240 degrees and i was driving it i only drove it not very far so got in there the first thing i did is because i thought it was the fans so the first thing i did is popped, popped off here and you can see that and the 50 uh, for the fans so I replaced those as well so lo and behold that didn't work so lo and behold that didn't work so what I did next I figured it almost had to be the thermostat so now for you folks with pro chargers know that the expansion tank for the coolant goes literally right over top of the thermostat housing and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so look at that mess in there the problem is getting to this bolt down here you can't really see it uh, it's it's really a pain in the rear end so what I wound up doing was removing this stud and remove uh, loosening that bolt down at the bottom so I could take the tank. <laughs> so I can move the tank around, which helped tremendously. Um, so I moved the tank out of the way, got both bolts out. There's there's a gazillion videos on people replacing thermostats. So uh, replace the thermostat, put the thermostat in, bolted uh bolted the housing the hose back down bolted the pro charger back down or not not the pro charger but the expansion tank for the uh for for the coolant and drove it back to uh rt life's place that's where i'm staying uh you saw i, sh I think i put that in a video somewhere i'll put it in a video somewhere that i'm staying at, at rt life's house and uh drove the car from there all the way uh to his place probably about 30 40 miles and temperatures were fine ranged in 185 to 190 when i'm when i was cruising and obviously you know it goes up a little bit when you're in town driving so and it got into the 197 200 range uh in the stop and go traffic so not a big deal but I just wanted to do a short video that, hey, not everything is 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 roses, right? There's always stuff that, that goes wrong. And luckily enough, this was something small, easy to fix, fairly easy to fix. It took me about a, 
Uh, once I got going, about 45 minutes to get everything out of the way and, and replace everything and hook it back up and get on the road. Uh, but literally I was at uh, Advance, Advance or AutoZone. It was one of them I was, I can't remember. Uh, because I had to let the car cool down to swap out the thermostat because <laughs> it was steaming hot. So literally I was there for about two hours, went over to McDonald's, grabbed something to eat, came back over, swapped everything out. And like I said, now we're back on the road. Drove here this morning, temps were 185 to 188, kind of fluctuated there. Um, everything, everything's good to go. So we're back at the racetrack. The next, next video you see is going to be racing uh, at the track, Modern Street Hemi Shootout bracket class then after that the next video after that is going to be either the 10-0 or 10-5 class just depends how shake and bake runs today so there you go folks it's not always a bed of roses when you got a race car things are going to break things are going to happen and uh, rt life beat me up he's like you should do a video because Everybody thinks it's, uh, you know, a bed of roses and everything goes great. Well, it doesn't. I'm here to tell you. Uh, those of you that are racers, y'all know it. But that's going to do it for this one, folks. But if you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the rest of the channel, do any of those few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake will definitely appreciate it. Because y'all know every red penny from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. That's going to do it for this, folks. Till the next one, bracket racing. Adios.